Destiny's API just got a major update, and all API features got a major boost. Destiny Item Manager, DIM, and other item management apps just got better. Hey you gamers, welcome back to the channel. This last reset, Bungie did some stealth maintenance server side. Well, this maintenance turned out to be a huge upgrade in the API department. In this video, I'm going to go over some great tips that you should be using in your Destiny Item Manager. First, I'm going to go over some options you can use to manage your inventory remotely, so skip ahead to the tips section if you already use DIM. For those of you that need to hear this, get Destiny Item Manager now. I'm still surprised that some people have no clue what these are. I couldn't imagine the game without it nowadays, and I know some people just refuse to play when the API is down. These apps allow you to simply select a weapon in your vault and put it on any character or vice versa. This gets rid of having to go to the tower to access your vault every time you play the game. There are a bunch of apps or websites you can use, but also the official Destiny Companion app, even though most don't use that. So here are some better options. I personally use and recommend the Destiny Item Manager, otherwise known as DIM, and this can be found online and downloaded as a Chrome app. This site is magnificent, allowing for great filters, organization, and loadouts. It is really a must for Destiny players every day. Others are E-Strike Commander, which is also an app, the official Destiny Companion app, as mentioned before, and probably some others. So let me know which one you guys use down below. So go get DIM, sign in, and realize the true potential of one of these apps. Let's get into some tips to get you better at using DIM. There are some super helpful methods that I have been using for a while and have had actually people adapt some of my ideas. These tips will be in the loadouts, search bar filters, or DIM settings, so let's get started. Tip number one, and probably my most unique tip, is the reset button. Introducing the reset button. Just finished an activity and you have a bunch of random weapons stored in your inventory? Click the reset button and boom, inventory wipe clean. Oh, you just finished PvP and you wanna go do something else? Reset and just like that, boom, all cleaned up. The reset button is a revolutionary way to manage your vault and inventory. Before logging off, I do this to all my characters to keep their inventories clean and prevent a complete mess. Now, before you go saying that this is too organized for you, it's actually really simple to do. Set up a new loadout, check the button that says move other items away, then select one item in each weapon slot. What I do here is have one item that is specifically made for this purpose. I just got a simple weapon from the recaster for each slot. If you play multiple characters, then select this for one of your characters and name it like Z underscore Warlock or Hunter or Titan, reset. The Z allows it to be at the bottom of the loadout since it is alphabetical, allowing for easy, repetitive access. Click save, and now you have a way to reset your character's loadout to these weapons, moving all items in your inventory to the vault. Do this for each character using different weapons, and you will have a reset loadout for each character now. Try it out if you have items already in your inventory. Isn't that nice? Plus with the latest update from Bungie, the speed of these transfers are 10 times as fast. Check it out by dragging some items onto your character, and then click reset again. Isn't that satisfying? Tip number two, probably the most obvious tip probably is loadouts. Now this one is going to be short, you know why? Because you shouldn't have a ton of loadouts. Here is the loadouts I recommend. One PVP loadout. This is all the weapons you use in PVP normally. Simple as that. I have this one move my other items away, as well as have it across all my characters since the weapons I use in PVP apply to every character. The other loadout I use mostly is the Garden of Salvation loadout or my Goss loadout. This is again across all my characters and moves all items away, but it has all the weapons I normally use in Garden available. You can make the one that is called Raid and include more in here, or make one for like Last Wish or something else for Beyond Light. Lastly, I have a PvE loadout which I don't really use, since I usually switch guns for bounties way too often. But this one usually has my most used PvE weapons with different elemental burns. So that is the loadouts. Very helpful and again super fast to get everything you need on a character. This update to the API can make some of my largest loadouts transfer in seconds. Now before you go typing, Daystrix what about armor? Well, if you watched my previous video on the way to hit all seasonal mods in the least amount of armor, you can see that all my armor is already on my characters, which I manually swap to since I have to do the mods manually anyway. By the way, go check out that video if you want to learn the best armor to have for Beyond Light, please go watch it. 
I just it didn't do that good. Please go watch it, please. Okay. Tip number three, loadout optimizer. This is for the tryhards. Want to see if you can hit double tier 10 builds? Triple maybe? The loadout optimizer goes through all your armor and finds the combinations to meet the criteria you assign. Simply go to the tab and select the tiers you are trying to hit. See if a combination exists and then equip that armor to go to tweaking. I don't really mess with this, but I do know that there's possibilities of this are great, especially for build making as you can select what mods you wish to hit in that armor as well. Definitely mess around in here if you want to optimize your armor. Tip number four, the settings of dim. Go to settings and dim and under item display, you can sort your vault by multiple criteria. What I use and I recommend is sorting by the type first. This allows the ARs to be with ARs, hand cannons to be hand cannons. Next, I do rarity so the exotics separate each change in weapon type. So the start of the hand cannons is going to be where the exotic hand cannons are grouped. Lastly, I do named so that each duplicate is next to each other to see how many of the same gun I have. I leave the rest unchecked since they kind of just clutter the item graphic and don't really provide anything useful to have them enabled. Under inventory display, I recommend making a custom sort and assigning each lane to a specific character so the order never changes. I do it based off my creation order and you will eventually learn just which lane is which character without having to check before you're about to transfer a weapon. Lastly, download your data backup in case your Chrome settings get wiped when you're trying to clear cookies or history and you lose your loadouts and settings. So just keep this somewhere safe. And another thing you can do if you are on PC is download DIM as a Chrome app by clicking here. This allows you to place it in the Windows taskbar or Windows Start, allowing you to open DIM without having to go to Chrome and then start a new tab. It, it still uses Chrome, but it, it just looks way better. Just trust me. Final tip, tip number five, is the searching. So go to the search bar and click on it and then click filters help. This shows you a complete list of all filter tags you can type in that bar. There is a lot. The ones I mainly use and will help you in Beyond Light is the is colon max power filter. This combined with the power total allows you to see what is the highest light in your inventory. You can also click the maximize power loadout to equip them. This will help you a lot with leveling in Beyond Light and I used it constantly to see how far I was from the next level and tell if I can min-max my way up. Other search fields I recommend using is the is colon arc void or solar if you're trying to find a weapon that matches a burn. Remember you can combine filters and look for like an arc hand cannon by typing is colon arc space is colon hand cannon. These filters are super helpful as it highlights the weapons you are looking for and allows quick access. Lastly, another method of searching I use is the tags. I store some of my weapons under the infuse tag and simply searching tag colon infused allows me to see all the weapons I have available to use as infusion. Really helpful. Okay, last if I promise, if you have multiple of a weapon and you can't tell a difference, type a note on one of them and the note graphic will appear. So here is my Eclos SMG with demo and it looks the same as my Eclos SMG with surrounded. But I want to grab the right one so I type demo on the left one and now I know which is which. Well guys, that's all I have for you. These tips will save a bunch of time and help you with inventory management. If I miss any useful tips or you have some of your own, let me know down below. DIM has a bunch of potential and I remember when I never knew about it. It really changed how we play the game. Let me know what you thought and maybe like and subscribe. We are trying to hit 10k subs which is still leaving me in disbelief. Again, thanks so much for the support and I will catch you gamers in the next one.